Okay, here we are for a final tone demo of the super fuzz I've just modified. I've modified a number of circuits, sections in the, the effect to increase clarity and smooth out the distortion. Uh, here's a, what the guitar sounds like going straight through the pedal. I'm using a Johnson Millennium Stereo 250 amp head which is set on the 65 Blackface Twin uh, modeling for a clean tone. And here's what that what this sounds like. I got a guitar with two PAF humbuckers and we're on the bridge pickup. All right, so we kick in the Super Fuzz, which is turned all the way up. The expander's all the way up. And the my volume and tone on the guitar are all the way up. Now, I've I've smoothed things out in the pedal, but it, this is a little too much. So, the if you back off the volume on a guitar, leave the pedal turned all the way up, you can get to a you know, smooth out the harshness a little bit. So I usually back off the volume just a little bit. We got tone knob on a guitar doesn't do too much, but you can hear a slight improvement in the tone sometimes in around the mid-range position, so we'll look for that now. There's a, th this pedal is very interesting, it's very touch sensitive, and the sweet spots are kind of sharp. There's a very narrow on your tone controls. So let's see if we have now. This might not even come through in the recording. I'm trying to get that kind of trumpety or trombonish type of uh, tone into the, the, the fuzz there. So that's pretty much the, the bridge pickup. We'll switch here to the neck pickup. the tone control back all the way to treble, full treble. Now one of the things I like, going back to the bridge pickup, is that you can hear chords now in this pedal. These are full bridge chords, and before, if, if you try to play more than perhaps just two strings, the, the sound of the chord would just break up in, in distortion, you couldn't hear. There's a couple, the clarity mods to, helped with that. The pedal was creating unintended distortion in a couple of sections, so I've gotten rid of that, and now you can hear the strings in the chords. And, and arpeggios, you know, uh, If 
I can play it right. <laughs> Okay, so we've got some chords. We went through that on tone setting number one. Now we'll switch to tone setting number two, which is the mid scoop. I just love uh, that wavering and that growling, thunderous bass in there. And if you come up to the neck position, 12th, 12th fret, and you can try and get some of that octave tone. Now this, this pedal has trim pot installed. I won't go through all the turning the trim pot around and, sh and sh you know, exampling the ch changes in the octave tone with that, but needless to say, there's a pretty good range. This is adjusted for almost maximum octave tone now. So let's see here. We got bridge pickup with scoop tone. I did some chords and did some notes. <laughs> Sustain is just about forever. As long as you want it, you keep vibrating. You know, you keep the vibrato on that string and the amplifier loud enough, it'll just sustain forever. <laughs> All right, so bridge pickup, or neck pickup rather. This pedal is so much fun, I'm, I'm feeling sad that I have to send it back to its owner. <laughs>